the edge of a cliff Realize there must be more to life than this Reaching for the stars, traveling so far Like a dragon Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to do this makeup look right here. It's super simple. That's why it's known as easy glam holiday makeup because this is like one of, you know, it's one of those looks where you don't want to spend too much time doing your makeup. You know, those girls who do not like to, you know, sit and just work on their eyeshadow. I totally get it. You just want like one color and be out the door. So this is something I worked on. I just saw like, I was looking for inspiration on Instagram and I found something like this. Uh, so it's just a smoked out eyeliner with lashes and really glowy skin and just a classic red lip. So trust me guys, this is super simple to do and to achieve with any products that you have at home. So yeah, if you want to know how to get this holiday glam look, then please stay tuned. Um, so I'm just going to sort of hydrate my skin because I just woke up, washed my face um, and I'm kind of jet lagged. <laughs> I sleep really late and I wake up really late. So it's currently 1 p.m. and I'm filming. I just woke up so my face looks a little swollen but uh, I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer to like hide my skin because this is amazing. Feels good. I am going to create one with just using drugstore products but for now I'm just using a mix of drugstore and high-end products. Uh, you can definitely use whatever you have at home. I always say this, you do not need expensive products to create a beautiful look. For foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude um, Water Fresh Makeup. This is something I haven't really played around with. This is in the shade Ivory Beige. So I'm gonna mix this. It's, oh my god, that is, oh my. Mm -mm, why don't they put a pump on here, man? I don't get it. Estee Lauder. Okay, that's like a hot mess right there, but. And I'm gonna take the Healthy Elixir, just one pump, just to mix the two, cause I think the Estee Lauder one is a little bit more neutral. I've been loving the Wet n Wild Flat Top Foundation Brush by the way. Guys, it is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna just sort of buff this into this. This just gets it done so easily, guys. It's so good. So thank you for the response on my last video, guys. You guys blew up my YouTube. It was so good. I absolutely loved responding to you guys and um, it just made my day. You guys make my damn day. You make my day, you make my night, you make my life, dude. You guys are amazing. You have no idea how I sit and read every single comment. Like I'm on the way and I'm on YouTube and I'm just like new comments, new comments. I keep refreshing to just to read because I know what it takes to come on there and write a comment. It's not that not everybody writes comments, even I don't on other YouTubers uh, profile but when I really want to, I really do write and when they respond back, when they like it, I just feel so good. It feels like you're appreciated and I want you to know that I appreciate you, each and every one of you. Yes, I just want you to know that you're appreciated, dude. Every single one of you. Do not feel left out or anything of that. I'm not reading you or I'm partial to like some subscriber. No, that's not it. Like every one of you, I read all your comments. I'm constantly on my DMs, refreshing it, trying to understand what you guys want next. What are you asking for? You know what I mean? I love you guys. I say this a hundred times. Please don't get bored of me saying I love you. Please like get used to it a little bit because I'm going to keep saying it like forever. I need your guys' help. I need some new concealer options. Can you like leave them down below? Some drugstore ones. I'm using the LA Girl which by far has been the most used concealer. I don't know how, which tube. Like I've used like four or five of these. Absolutely love this concealer guys. But if there's anything else that you guys have, please leave it down below. So I want to try it. I really really want to try new concealers. Something that has like multiple shades and is like you know easy to use. Let me know. Let me know. I'm really excited. This is the Pack 272 brush, if you're wondering. So for this look, you definitely want to do whatever foundation routine you have. Are you bored of my foundation routine? Like, I keep doing the full face. Should I, like, come on video with foundation concealer done? Let me know that too, because um, I keep doing it 
over and over again and i'm pretty sure most of you are like yeah we get it that's your foundation routine you know i mean but i like doing it for you on camera so you see the whole deal all the time every time okay um i'm just gonna brighten it up using maybelline fit me this is in san sable I'm going to take the Bharat and Doris powder and set my face. So I'm taking the Nykaa Skin Genius powder and I'm just going to set parts of my face. I'm not setting my entire face. Okay, I'm taking some uh shimmering perfecter by Becca in Moonstone and I'm just going to put it like on the high points of my face. So I didn't set my entire face. I just set my T-zone with a little bit of compact powder. So take whatever compact powder you have and set a little bit of it. And if you have a liquid um highlighter like this, like the Becca one or the even the Mac Strobe Cream is amazing. Basically my glow for this glow glow is just naturally that's just my word. It should be my middle name. So uh what my goal is just to make this look very natural and hydrated natural I don't mean by no foundation natural but I just mean my very skin like very dewy and healthy can you see so it should just be like very beautiful looking in person yeah you know what I mean not like very heavy and powdery so I am going to powder my face cuz I'm using powder bronzers but I just want this liquid highlighter to be like an under like a base before i go in with all my powder so there's something peeking through through the day the powder sort of starts to like melt into the skin and you can actually see the base liquid highlighter come through so i just want something like that to be there something very hydrating on the skin and that's why i put the liquid highlighter if you're wondering this is not a necessary step you can skip this um and okay yeah let's move on to uh brows so i'm taking the maybelline brow precise obsessed with this you guys know i love this stuff <laughs> okay so what I'm going to do is I'm taking the Nykaa Skin Genius again and I'm taking this very fluffy brush not a very dense one and I'm just going to lightly set my face cuz I'm going to go in with powder products in a bit so I'm just going to set my cheek area very lightly it's as good as not setting it Okay so for my eyes it's going to be super simple you can take your bronzer if you want I'm taking the pack matte eyeshadow palette this is the one I have which is all brown orangey neutral colors my favorite um so I'm going to take the first shade right here which is very neutral I'm going to take this on the Pro Art 230E brush this is a blending brush so take any fluffy blending brush that you have and you want to just put this like basically in your crease first and then all over your lid just to give it some color you don't want it to be really flat so just give it a slight wash of brown so you can definitely take your bronzer for this guys no need for eyeshadow even so tell me what are your plans guys what are your like holiday plans are you all traveling somewhere i'm not i just got back but what about you guys cuz christmas is something i celebrate do you guys celebrate christmas let me know um i'm thinking I don't know I want to put up a Christmas tree also. I really do. Uh I will obviously snap it if I do, but I love Christmas, guys. It's one of my actually it is my favorite holiday. Christmas is my favorite holiday because there's so much gift giving and stuff. Um it's just like I love it when family comes together and friends come together and it's just such a happy time. All festivals are, but like Christmas is my favorite. Um Yeah so I can't wait to celebrate it's Jake's birthday on the 24th too it's like he's a christmas baby so that's going to be fun So do you see what I'm doing like I'm just sort of washing the color all over my eye there's no particular like way of doing this sort of eyeshadow look it's just sort of giving it some sort of a depth uh some color onto the eye so obviously you can take an orange you can take a rose color anything it looks really pretty just one eyeshadow that's it just one I'm going to take the same the first shade and just give a wash underneath as well just to balance the eyeshadow out. Okay, so now for the star of the show, we're going to move on to the smoked out eyeliner. I've seen a few Instagram posts on this idea where they sort of smoke your liner, and I know this has been done like so many times, but I've seen it quite often and I really like it. Um I have a couple of options here that you guys can use. So I have the Nykaa I am black kajal this is in 
the shade black knight so this is like just a kajal pencil then i have the nika i am 24 7 kajal you can use this you can use any of the plum kajals these are good as well they're all drugstore um i have the bobby brown uh, island and black coffee and you can use this too but what i'm gonna do is just because it has a smudger i want to use the smudger part of it and sort of buff it out um for this video, I'm going to take Nika I Am Black Kajal and Black Knight. This is a really dark liner. And uh, so you want to start by doing your liner regularly. You guys know liner better than me, trust me, because I never do liner and most of you do it. So. So we're going to work in sections. I'm just doing the inner part first. And then I'm just going to go with the back part of the bobby brown and I'm just going to smudge it so you can see like sort of blurred lines over here it's not like really precise so you want that effect and this would look amazing on gray liner as well like gray eyeliner would look stunning uh, and you just want to sort of keep buffing it out until it's super blurry so you can take an eyeshadow brush even you just want something you know really dense even those you know those eyeshadow um thingies that come in the eyeshadow kits that is shaped like this you can use those as well and just even buff it out with your finger honestly guys this is so simple to do i cannot even tell you so now you want to complete it's already gone to here because i've smudged it so much i don't even have to do much so just take it out just this like the tiniest wing you'll ever see like super super tiny I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and you know fast forward this process because you guys know this better than me Okay, so what I'm doing is I just put a little bit of concealer to clean up the bottom part because we smudge it out and eyeshadow gets like everywhere so you want to sort of take some concealer put it underneath and just clean it up like that for mascara I'm taking the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot this is in collaboration with Shayla so I picked it up um, and what you want to do is you can either just wear mascara like your favorite mascara which elongates your lashes really well uh, because we're not doing much and you want something to stand out so lashes is what you're gonna play in in this video or for this look basically um, so yeah you can go in with falsies you can go in with just mascara it totally depends on what you want <laughs> I just went for a wedding sorry engagement recently uh, a lot of you following me on snap or Instagram probably know dude I was like I missed that you know like Indian songs it's not like I was not listening to Indian songs when I was in New York but it's just like it all came back to me and it's been stuck in my head ever since so I'm just like jamming on those songs okay Lower lash line time. When they see sweat. Okay, now I want to listen to it. Okay, stop before I get a copyright claim, honey. Mm. You have no idea what happened. I filmed the entire look, like for my face down, and I wasn't recording. So, with the power of editing, you guys have no idea what I went through. I had to redo my entire face, but let's move on um, I'm gonna take the BU bronzer this is available in the lifestyle stores um, this is the Sun Glow bronzer and I've been loving this bronzer I love the color of it it's like the perfect warmth that I need and I'm taking the pro art number no. six brush a standard brush uh, so what I'm gonna do for this look is very lightly warm up the face so I'm just going to sort of start at the contour area and just so you will take your favorite bronzer, like your most favorite bronzer and you will sort of uh, hit the hollows of your face and do it very like naturally, like super natural. We're not going to go contour like, you know, crazy. We're just going to lightly do both. So just run your brush like that. 
honestly if i wasn't talking this would be like a 7 to 8 minute tutorial trust me like it's that simple I just can't talk get it down i need you guys to recommend some good blushes i'm not very like blush is not the first thing that comes to mind but i really like using blush i have been since new york i've been wearing a lot of blush surprisingly this is is the me maybelline this is the Maybelline Lee Face Blush Contour in Peach. This is a nice one, but I love the Milani one a lot. But if there's any other blush, like drugstore one, which, you know, I'm gonna love, even a palette would do, um, let me know down below. So this is the Pack 255 brush. It's a duo fiber brush. I use this for blush. So what I'm gonna do is hit the apples of my face very lightly and take it up to my contour. 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 Okay, so like, so since it's like winter time, you want to look sort of flushed on your face and not really pale. Um, so you want to play around with the blush more. It just looks really healthy and nice. And if you happen to put a lot, you want to take your stippling brush and sort of just buff it around. Okay, let's move on to highlighter, guys. You guys love it when I talk like this, so I'm doing a little bit of this. Okay, for highlighter, oh lord, what's happening, honey? Okay, for highlighter, I'm gonna try the Sigma Chroma Glow Shimmer and Highlight Palette. I wanna test this out, so I thought, why not in this video? I'm gonna take Peaceful and Ambrosia. I don't think the rest will go well. I'm gonna take that on a Sigma High Cheekbone Highlight Brush F03 and a little bit of Peaceful and Ambrosia. Um, I like that a lot. I think it looks really pretty, but I'm gonna top it off with my Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate because African love this shit. This is my jam, guys. It's my jam. Yes, honey. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Our cheeks. Boy, oh, I forgot to contour my nose. No wonder them nose be looking fat a little bit a little bit bulgy if you are me okay for that i'm gonna take the smashbox contour palette because i want to highlight as well with this i'm gonna take the brush pro art pf 14 this is the perfect brush for nose contour trust me it is amazing you will get this on amazon or like at a beauty store now one thing i cannot skip is the highlighting so i'm just gonna take a little bit of highlight and brighten up my under eye okay so for lips um i thought of doing like a cool tone color but i really want to do red okay so this is max retro matte liquid lip in fashion legacy i'm just gonna line it with cherry first The perfect color to rock on the holidays it's a perfect bright red it's the classic this is as red as it could get seriously this is amazing uh, okay for eyelashes i use euro paris in the number 50 if you're wondering they're really like they just give you volume it's nothing crazy but it's something so yeah yeah i'm so messy okay i'm just gonna like get ready and i'll be right back so that's all i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video i really like how this look turned out i think it's so classic holiday and i'm wearing a sweater that i got from forever 21 it's a sweater dress got this from new york um so yeah thank you for watching and i love you so much you guys know that uh send me your recommendations down of the blush and the concealer and also what videos you'd like to watch i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next one bye guys